Welcome Necro Posters and crew, I'm the Body Counter. A few days ago, Motive Studios shared another Dead Space Remake pre-alpha developer livestream to the Dead Space community. <coughs> As I and others predicted when they teased us on what they were going to cover, we guessed the livestream was going to cover audio design and possibly the original soundtrack. Turns out, we were right. And yes, I listened to the teaser tweet they made several times to see if I could hear anything they were going to be teasing until I realised what I was hearing as a whole would be their topic for the livestream. In hindsight, I feel like an idiot. But for today, I wanted to make a video covering the things the developers didn't mention or point out that I noticed during the livestream. If you want to watch the stream for yourself, I'll leave a link to Motive's upload in the description for you. With all that brushed aside, let's stomp this sack. Here, we have a very secret cryptic message Motive left for us. If we just click to edit master title. There's a misinput, misinput, calm down! You calm it's since been revealed that this little error was a result of the stream being a little rushed and someone forgot to edit it. I'm not complaining though, I found it hilarious. I seriously tried to translate a cryptic message only to be surprised by the unitology equivalent of a bottom text meme. There have been a few small changes to the level 3 suit since the last time Motive Studios held a live stream event back in September of 2021. As you can see, I've got both the late 2021 and the early 2022 versions on screen. Things to note on the latest iteration are the rig's lower back tube ending above the belt, more prominent zero gravity back thrusters, the suit underlayer near the elbows look much better, shoulder plating looking more compact with extra padding underneath it, small tubes feeding from the arm to above the rig, brighter rig health bar when at full health, and in general a more detailed and tightened appearance as a whole. A little tighter. To be completely honest, I like this change since the last time we saw the suit. The tighter plating makes sense for the role intended for the user. During the livestream, someone in the Dead Space Necroposting Discord made a very good point about how the suit should be more compact if the wearers are going to be accessing ventilation systems as we see Isaac doing a fair bit in Dead Space 2. The suit isn't just meant to provide environmental protection for the wearer, but must also be light enough to move in, compact with no loose parts to catch onto hazardous machinery, and to avoid puncturing the material underlayer. Need I say more than the title? Peng is in the remake. Peng be praised! During the showcase of how audio occlusion and obstruction works in the remake, we got a good glimpse at the maintenance bay from Chapter 1 and the imaging diagnostics room in Chapter 2, more specifically how they're remaking the areas in the new game. As much as I'd love to share every little detail of what's changed from the original, I feel that Helios Max does a better job at comparing the areas and detailing how much has changed. So I recommend opening the link to his video in the description below and giving it a watch for yourself after this video. One area he didn't cover however, was the tram platform. When the stream was comparing plasma cutter and pulse rifle sounds, we got to see the new appearance of the tram platform, and the main things worth noting is how far the player can see down the tunnel, when in the original game, the tunnel just ended and led to an endless void. <laughs> and how much brighter the tunnel is compared to the first game, which I quite like. The brightness of the tunnel is fitting since these areas were meant to offer the player temporary respite from the horrors off the platform. There was a sense of security when you heard the ambience of the tram, as it either meant a store and or a bench was close by, or you had just completed the level. Not only has the level 3 suit changed since the last livestream, but so has the plasma cutter. In the recent stream, the alignment blades when not aiming down sights weren't deployed as they were in the first livestream. A very small change that was most likely meant to be made eventually, but it's good to see they've already made the alteration. Alongside the plasma cutter, we got to see a very detailed render of the Dead Space Remake pulse rifle from different angles. I love how the new pulse rifle when it's safety is on. The receiver, magazine and barrels collapse inwards and retract backwards onto the stock itself, most likely when the user pushes or pulls the foregrip in front of the trigger. A small but nice little returning reference from the original game is this x-ray image, showing what appears to be a person with a striking resemblance to the pregnant necromorph's payload belly sack on its stomach that houses swarmers. These were seen throughout the games in medical areas and it's cool to see them returning this little detail again. This corpse is still alive, apparently. Just a funny little thing I found while re-watching the stream. Now the game is of course nowhere near completion, so this may be subject to change but when Isaac interacted with a locker in the last demonstration, it was empty. In Dead Space, virtually all lockers contained goodies in them, while crates were sometimes spiked with swarmers ready to jump on Isaac. 
This may either be a scripted empty locker, or it could mean some lockers may not contain loot in them to spice up that random number generator factor when searching for supplies. This may be similar to the original game when killing necromorphs as not all enemies dropped loot upon death, unlike in Dead Space 2 and 3, where practically all enemies dropped loot when killed. Water droplets impacting on Isaac's suit and making a sound. Yeah, I know. I'm grasping at straws right now. And that finishes my list of extra things I noticed in the recent Dead Space Remake livestream. I hope you enjoyed this video and learnt something new from it. Be sure to check out Helios Max's Original vs Remake comparison video and the whole livestream in the comments below if you haven't seen them already. If you're not a part of the community, join the Dead Space Necro posting Facebook group and Discord in the description for your share of Dead Space memes and banter. Like and subscribe to support my work and keep up to date. And as always, make us whole again.